Hi everyone, my name is Ben Grist and welcome back to another video. That's right, I'm in a new room. I've got my new filming studio right here, computer, everything you need right here, guys. But also, I've got a new job as well, which I'm starting in a few weeks, and it's gonna be great. September, this is a chance for uh, new beginnings, new transitions, but what I wanna say to you guys is that God is on your case. Doesn't matter what you're going through, what changes you're gonna go through, what transitions you're gonna come across in this next season of your life, actually God is on your case, he is gonna be there with you. Wow, it is so great to be here in this new space. I've got loads of new ideas and videos that I'm really excited about doing over in this new season. Think about transitions though, a few days ago whilst we were at church, uh, one of the women in our congregation, she had a picture from God. And it was all about how some of us are like a plant in a plant pot. And actually we're, our roots are kind of scraping along the edges of the plant pot. And so what happened is that the plant was dug out of the plant pot and put into the ground where there was more space for the roots to grow. And it reminds me of this chapter in Isaiah chapter 54 where it says this in verse two and three. Enlarge the place of your tent, stretch your curtains wide, do not hold back. Lengthen your cords, strengthen your stakes, for you will spread out to the right and to the left. Your descendants will dispossess nations and settle in their desolate cities. In 1792, a guy called William Carey was preaching about this verse, and it occurred to him that actually this word enlargement actually encourages us to think big, dream big, and have a bigger perspective on the plans for the future. When a black dot is put on a white screen, somehow that one black dot becomes the central focus of the whole picture and not the white screen at all. And in the same way, we need to put God as our focus, make him bigger, not our smaller issues bigger. God is bigger than all of our uh, kind of problems that we're dealing with, whether health or financial problems or opposition or crisis or Brexit or whatever is going on. God is bigger than those things. So what are we putting our hope in? Well, the next part of the verse uses the word stretching, which involves stretching our current limits. It's a bit like when Paul talks about how he presses on towards the goal marked out for him. And in the same way, if we're stretching, a bit like our stretching our muscles, actually it's gonna allow us to grow. Next up in the passage, it says about do not hold back. And this is so important, especially in this time of transition or change, whatever you're going through. There are so many things that will make us uh, be held back by our fears or what's going on in our lives, but actually we're encouraged to overcome that fear. When we realize that actually God loves us so much, then we realize that actually his perfect love, it casts out all fear. So we don't need to be afraid of what is to come. And then following on from that, it uses this word lengthen, lengthen your cords, and it's encouraging us to, to grow, to go that extra mile in whatever we're going through. To not be normal, but be extra in everything we do. And then finally, it talks about strength, strengthen your stakes. And this is so important for us to not be uh, weighed, pushed one way or another from what actually God has in mind for us, but actually strengthen those stakes, have a firm foundation in God and know that he is in control. He is the foundation of our lives. So whatever you find yourself going through in the next few weeks and months, remember this famous verse, and one of my favorites, from Jeremiah chapter 29, verses 11, 12, and 13, which says this, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you a hope and a future. Then you will call on me and come and pray to me, and I will listen to you. You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all of your heart. Guys, let's be following God and seeing what plans he has in store for us for the future. That's all from me today. I hope you have a great week and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. You've been watching videos with me, Ben Grist. If you enjoyed it, then please do hit that subscribe button. But also, feel free to leave a comment below if there's anything you'd like to see more of in the future. See you soon.